I must actually be mad to be working out again, but I'm here at Exercise for Less um, to get back on it with a second training day of the week. Um, and I'm gonna do a kettlebell workout. Um, it's an AMRAP for 10 minutes, and it's gonna be 30 kettlebell Russian swings, um, 20 goblet squats, and then 10 alternate snatches each hand. So that should be fun. Uh, my back is killing me from yesterday um, and yeah my legs too because yesterday I did the 16.4 workout um, CrossFit the open um, and it killed me so um, I'm still aching from that so I have no idea what those goblet squats are gonna feel like but I thought I'd just give it a try um, and uh, just yeah work on my conditioning kettlebells are like really good for like just working the whole entire body um, I didn't really want to focus on a particular area today um, because to be honest the whole of me is killing so I just thought I'd just sort of iron out everything and uh, just yeah just do a total body workout the great thing with kettlebells is that you can like incorporate into like most machine work so you could do um, kettlebell swings and like the rower you could do kettlebell swings and then running on the treadmill. Um, there's lots that you can do with um, kettlebells and that's why it's one of my favourite, um, apart from the barbell of course, it's one of my favourite pieces of equipment. I'm going to use a 16kg um, kettlebell um, but it's entirely up to you if you're going to do this workout. You can go um, the less weight or um, more heavier weight. Um, for blokes I would definitely go for um, about 20-24 uh, kg. So yeah, should be fun. absolutely horrible it was horrendous it's a lot harder than what I thought it was in 10 minutes I did like three rounds and I think four kettlebell swings oh my god I don't know what happened when I got to the kettlebell um, snatches I uh, there was no way I could do it with 16 kg with those type of, um, kettlebells at my box I could do 16 kg kettlebell snatches fine but um, oh my god no I just couldn't so I had to like go down to um, but I tried eight and then I went to, that was too light, so I went to 12 kg. Um, but yeah, no, it was horrendous. And those goblet squats, I just knew, I knew they were going to be absolutely tough on the, uh, the old glutes um, and quads. It just felt awful. Um, and I didn't even, halfway through, I was kind of thinking, should I even bother doing this? Uh, especially after yesterday, but I thought, no, just do it and just slog through it. So I just did that. So. Yeah, 10 minutes, like, felt like it was a very long time. Um, so yeah, but yeah, I'm just glad I did it. Second training day down. Um, and now I've just got to think about what I'm going to do tomorrow. Um, I'll be back in the box tomorrow, obviously doing the wad. Um, and then, yeah, I think for my strength, I might do some um, bench press, because I need to do more upper body. Um, 
after I did that kettlebell workout, I actually went on to um, over by the lifting section and I did I did four rounds of 20 double unders and um, five over uh, five push jerks uh, with 40 kg. Um, and that felt quite tasty as well, especially after doing that workout. Um, but yeah, that was a fun one. I think I might repeat that one um, and up the amount of double unders that I do, um, or obviously the weight. But I think 40 kg at the moment overhead feels free. <laughs> Fuck you. Excuse my language. Pretty hard. Um, I'm just something's with me in my over my overhead at the moment. I think my lats or whatever. I don't know. Um, it's just weak, and I don't do enough of it. I should be doing a lot more bench press, a lot more push uh, push presses, strip presses, um, uh, and I don't. I, I'm very leg dominant, I, and I think that way as well. I sort of do a lot of squatting and well, and I, not even that actually. I do a lot of squatting in obviously the wads, um, but I do a lot of sort of cleans and deadlifts and things like that uh, for my strength build it. Um, and I need to start thinking about um, my overhead. Like I don't do much overhead squats, so in the uh, 16.1 workout um, I was really sort of suffering with those overhead lunges because uh, I just don't do anything like that so um, yeah I'm trying to work on my weaknesses now um, once and for all so, so yeah it's been a really good uh, good workout session it's nice coming in here actually it's really nice gym um, it's really quiet it's about I don't even know what time it is now it's probably about like 10 something um, but it's nice and it's a nice atmosphere out there um, and I can just do what I need to do. There's so much to do in this like gym, it's unbelievable, like I'm getting so many ideas of workouts I can put together, um, some you know that are like for beginners um, and then some that are like you know more intermediate and harder. Um, so if you are a beginner and you're or you're just getting into like losing weight and everything and you're looking at my channel and you've seen all these barbells and you're like oh my god like you know uh, seeing these crazy workouts and thinking oh my god I can't ever do anything like that well I am gonna like start putting some um, workouts together that are like aimed at people like yourself um, that are wanting to get into this wanting to start lifting if you like this video give it a thumbs up let me know what you think of the workout give it a go yourself and uh, yeah subscribe for more videos